okay guys so um so we have discussed um how does um hypoglycemia cause hypothermia now what we want to discuss in this um in this uh, in this part two we want to discuss how does hypothermia cause hypoglycemia how does hypothermia result in hypoglycemia remember once again cellular respiration the Krebs cycle basically Krebs cycle so what we have we know that by now that the substrates for cellular respiration is glucose plus oxygen and these they give us ATP they give us heat the heat that maintains our core body temperature water is a byproduct CO2 is a byproduct uh, so in the event whereby we have hypothermia what happens when we have hypothermia it means we have a reduced severely reduced uh, body core temperature is it is it core body temperature or body core temperature uh -huh. core body temperature now the body knows that if if i'm in a situation whereby i've got hypothermia if i can push this reaction to that direction i'll produce these two guys which will increase the body temperature so the body what it's gonna do is gonna try and push the reaction to the right to that side so if you're gonna if because let me explain this nicely guys so you can hear it i'm saying the body knows that look i've got hypothermia and how can i how can i increase my core body temperature i can increase my core body temperature by pushing this direction to that side i know that if i push this direction to that side i will have an increase in the atp an increase in the heat and that will cause an increase in my body temperature right so how do i push the direction to this side it means I must use up these guys so if you are gonna use up glucose so you're gonna have to to use up the glucose because if you use up the glucose you know that as much as you're gonna be using up the glucose and the oxygen you'll be producing these two guys and that's what you want but now there's a there's a problem if you use a lot of glucose and you are not uh, giving the patient glucose or the mm. neonate you are not replacing the glucose as long as this uh, neonate this baby is still hypothermic the reaction will keep being pushed to that side so your glucose is gonna end up being used up and once you use up the glucose you will become hypoglycemic 
because now you're gonna use this guy up in the process you create a lot of this because you want remember new needs do not shiver they i, I remember in 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 up when you're doing physiology in second year they all they all they used to ask which a kind of fat do uh babies have which is the brown fat it's the brown fat that does this they don't shiver so the brain the when the when the when the neonate is cold the brown fat becomes activated and it's the one that um tries and correct this problem it's the one that becomes uh, uh, activated metabolically because once it, it becomes activated metabolically it starts respiring at a higher rate and in the process it increases the heat but the problem is this as it increases that heat it means it must have used a lot of glucose so now you move from hypothermia because as you are trying to correct the hypothermia by increasing heat production you are using the glucose up so if this is not replaced the kid is gonna get into hypoglycemia this is how it happens guys okay now let's move on to um the other problems that you get with hypothermia because now you've got hypothermia you you have hypothermia you started with hypothermia you know um some time back i was in the i had an opportunity to go to the usa uh, and we were visiting hospitals that was back in 2010 we were visiting hospitals there and uh, i just want to explain how important this thing is so we're visiting different health centers and i was in um, in colorado um there's a town there called denver so that's where i went so um we were we went to this other children's hospital you know all the newborns they they had heads as soon as they were delivered they got heads because the head is the one place where it's not the only it's it's the number one place whereby heat exchange occurs the the, the newborns they lose a lot of heat from their head so immediately in that hospital that i was immediately uh, um, whether it's a caesarean section or it's an nvd after the the the, the neonate is is cleaned and wiped they immediately they immediately get a head a very warm head so it was a way of preventing hypothermia so once you get hypothermia once you get hypothermia we have explained now that you run a risk of getting hypoglycemia right but that's not the only problem once you have hypothermia like we said that you get vasoconstriction You get vasoconstriction and that vasoconstriction it means that now the peripheries will have reduced blood supply right they will have reduced blood supply and they will have reduced the oxygen supply and they will also have a reduced in a sort of like co2 uptake and once you build up co2 you get into acidosis and also there's a lot of co2 that is produced when you respire anaerobically so now you end up having metabolic acidosis acidosis so now look at the problems that now you are having you have so you, you had hypothermia not corrected persisted up until you got into hypoglycemia your hypothermia didn't only cause hypoglycemia but it also gave you metabolic acidosis and this will damage the brain of that baby this will damage the brain of that baby 
this will damage the brain of that baby. So, one other thing that will happen is that once you get into um, into hypothermia, plus hypothermia alone, it denatures the enzymes. Remember, enzymes are proteins, and proteins they denature when they are exposed to extreme temperatures. They also denature when they are exposed to extreme um, acid base disturbances. They also denature when they are exposed to its temperature, its pH, its um, I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting one other thing. So, so now it means the enzymes that are meant to drive these reactions are going to be shut down. You are going to have issues. And uh, another thing is that meta acidosis, not necessarily metabolic, but acidosis in general and hypothermia. Remember, many um clotting uh clotting um uh, what is this many many clotting proteins okay many clotting factors are proteins many clotting factors many clotting factors are proteins and proteins they denature when they're exposed to extreme temperatures and extreme um they're damaged by extreme acid base imbalances so this kid now all of a sudden they start bleeding you don't know why they are bleeding especially if they start maybe bleeding from their cut cord you know the umbilical cord that was cut or they might even start bleeding under the skin they might even start bleeding uh, intracranially now you've got a child who's got, uh, who's got now you've got a baby that has got focal signs you don't know now they're not moving their limbs uh, equally now it means now it could be that they've got a brain a bleed in the brain that was caused by clotting uh, problems so now based on all of that on all of these uh, it's just a cascade of problems you had hypothermia that gave you hypoglycemia and this will can give you seizures and the seizures from the hypoglycemia will give you brain damage look at that your hypoglycemia your hypoglycemia now is giving you seizures neonatal seizures and this will give you will damage the brain as well now you've got so many things while the hypothermia is causing the hypoglycemia it's also causing metabolic acidosis while we are dealing with that Metabolic acidosis contributes to clotting factor de uh, denaturation. Now you start having a bleeding baby. So guys, uh, that's that. So um, I hope and I pray that you understand this. So the most important thing is that when you are dealing with the new needs, I mean the sisters, they do this thing so well. They do this thing and they also know when to, to 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 intervene maybe we are going to talk about most of the times when these uh, ba um, neonates uh, they get a, a, a hypoglycemia they are corrected once and then it's settled but if it's persisting then it means other things need to be to, to be looked into but in order not to get to this make sure that you anticipate for hypothermia and hypoglycemia and act and act meaning as soon as i mean the sisters are very good with this they will take the baby they will wipe the baby make sure that the baby is dry they will cover the baby um i haven't really seen heads here it's the only thing I, like i like i said that i saw it only in america when i was visiting there so um if you've got a head give them the head if they've got a, a fitting head and then you cover their their body and make sure that immediately their blood sugar is checked as soon as the mother can breastfeed that kid must be breastfed so that we can prevent this um uh, hypoglycemia the nice thing about 
on top of wiping the baby, covering them with a warm blanket that is is, is war a warm blanket that has been under the um, under the warmer. They they also put the baby under the warmer as well with corrected temperatures, uh, and also even the 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 the. the what the the unit where they are in should they shouldn't have open windows because even the air can dry them out because remember their skin is like it's it cannot thermoregulate so those are the issues um i think since i've started with new neurology i should just continue with it so we are gonna do infections ne? we're gonna do infections well thank you so much guys for watching please drop me a comment like and subscribe thank you